god, if I do a high pitched squeal, it's gonna annoy me, and I'm gonna have to rewatch this and be like, I need to turn the volume down. Um, so I do apologize, so I had to contain it just a bit. Look, I say that I grew up on Batman, but I found out recently that Wonder Woman was my first DC character, but I generally don't care for Wonder Woman. Pardon me. Pardon me. Um, I grew up with Batman. You're like, he's my Batman. I'm, I love Batman. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Batman. God, I'm gonna kill my voice today. Um, so I'm super excited. I know when everyone said that Robert Pattinson's Batman, they all cringe, and I was like, dude, he's gonna be interesting. Like, come on, this guy knows how to act. He gets very interesting roles. Like I've seen some of his stuff, um, particularly the ones that aren't so mainstream, and I've gone, dude, this is cool. Um, so I'm very curious to see how he's doing it. Um, I got asked yesterday online what my thoughts are about Paul Denno doing um, Riddler and I was like dude I'm curious I want him. Um, you know I love Riddler. Riddler is my favorite villain as well as Harley Quinn but Riddler is my go-to guy um, and I've never hated a version that I've seen. I, I may have hated the actor but the version that those actors portrayed of Riddler has just my mind. Um, so this 2 minute 38 trailer is super exciting. I'm super excited. Uh, I'm super excited that it's coming out very soon. I think next year. But I'm super excited for it. And the countdown's on. And yes. And I'm going to keep saying the same things. So I should get onto the trailer and dissect it and try not to cry if it sucks. Yeah. Riddler. It's Eddie. Oh, I hate that. Oh, that's so clever. The green cup and plate. It's got a question mark. That is so clever. Fear is a tool. When that light hits the sky, it's not just a goal. Oh, that beat. Ooh, what was that? I've been trying to reach you. Find the gun! Oh, that ain't gonna force. And prisoners to match. <gasps> Get a woman. I can take care of myself. Oh, she's great. If this continues, it won't be long before you've nothing left. <gasps> oh, isn't it? I don't Ooh. care what happens to me. It's only getting it worse for you. Whoa, take it easy, sweetheart. Oh. You hear everything they say, ain't you? Maybe we're not so different. Who are you under there? Sequences. I'm vengeance. really loud I do apologize and I can guarantee you when I edit this video I'm going to cry because I'll be like god damn it you're dumb for being loud but okay so I have this weird obsession about using scores because I'm so over songs being played in scenes this is how you get people to love your crap without using someone else's copyrighted songs 
Hmm. Sorry. I'm fine. I'm really fine. I'm really not. Um, but this looks really interesting. It's... I know that Batman started from comic books. You know, that's the whole point of Batman. And from comic books, he spent, you know, action figures, he spent movies, he spent video games, and everything else in between. But watching this, it's given me a video game vibe. It's given me video game violence. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the last Batman game I played. I want to say it was one of the Arkham games, which narrows it down. Um, <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> but I don't know. I know my brother tried teaching me, and then I almost threw the controller at the TV because I was like, I can't do this. I keep dying. Batman. Ah! Um, <laughs> but that was fun. Don't get a 10 year old to teach you how to play video games. <laughs> um, but no, this looks really clever and cool. And it's, like I said, it's got that video game vibe. But I'm curious to see, I think it's been mentioned probably 10,000 times, but because I don't read comic books, I can't, you know, connect the dots. But for me, you know, it's curious on which they're playing from. Um, because obviously Riddler doesn't look like Riddler. You know, he. I'm guessing this is that balance between where he's Ed and where he's Riddler. Um, it doesn't look like it's playing to the point where he works with the PD. Because we know Gotham the TV series did that. So where's that balance of like where does Ed sit into this? Um, so I'm very curious to see how that works out. The interaction with Penguin, he looks more like a crime boss, which I guess is what Penguin's supposed to be written as. Um, the variations I've seen on Penguin, he's always a crime boss. I think with the exception of the 60s Batman, where he's just kind of waddling along. Um, but he's very dapper with it. But the, the way that they play it, he seems like he's an underground, uh, dealer for something um, but it's interesting to see the penguin interaction because it's like okay this is Oswald it's not the penguin it's Oswald but it's like okay so how does Oswald know Batman you know how how is he calm with interacting with Batman or is he interacting with Selina who again is a different variation you know We've had Halle Berry, we've had Anne Hathaway, we've got our voice actors, uh, we've had, I've completely blanked, apologies, <laughs> on Ka Cameron, uh, Carmen, Cameron, I think her name is, in uh, Gotham, and a few others who I've blanked on, and I do apologize. I think Eartha Kitt was the original live action Catwoman. So it's very interesting to see how this all goes. Um, I'm very curious, like, we all know how Batman and, and Catwoman end up, like, that story's been told 10,000 times. But, are they already in a relationship, or are they not? Um, I know you're watching this, some of the moments I was really excited for, because, uh, the, the motorbike scene through the cemetery. I saw the, the leaked images, I say leaked, images, uh, a year or so ago, and I was like, cool! Uh, the scene where they're all getting out of the car for what looks like a funeral or maybe a deposition at the courthouse that was all leaked online as well so it's, it's curious to see how those put together but there is one thing that I am hating and I say this with the heaviest of hearts because I really didn't want to crap all over the Batman I feel like they've shown everything like, I, I feel like with the trailers that I've seen of the Batman movies for, for the uh, Robert Pattinson's version, I feel like they've just put everything in the trailer, knowing full well we still see it, but just like, that's it. Because we feel like that once we're going to go see it, we're going to be like, cool, cool. Um, we've seen this all in the trailers, so why would I want to go spend however much on a movie ticket when I've seen the trailers? Um, and I hate when they do that, which is why I'm very stubborn about trailers, but in saying that, I had to watch it because it's Batman and I really wanted to watch Batman. <laughs> um, but Robert Patterson, like I said earlier, he's very interesting in how he's going to play Batman. His voice, normally when you listen to Batman voices, they're very deep. Uh, Robert's voice doesn't sound so deep. It's it's not too deep that it's gravelly, but it's not too deep that it's 
probably sounds too painful on his voice box, I guess. I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but he doesn't have that gravel that Batmans normally do, but he still has that 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 hardness without being too rough on the voice, I guess. I don't know, it's really hard to explain, because, like, I'm not a voice person, I just go, ha. Huh. Um, but it's interesting. I feel like, again, like every other Batman movie, bleh, movie, we're gonna pick out the parents, um, you know, we might not see the flashback sequences of the parents dying because I'm so over watching parents die in superhero movies. I rant about that in Peacemaker, so we're gonna stay calm. But, you know, the whole point is like, what is Enigma's storyline to Batman? You know, is, is, is it a connection to the fact that they're playing on that? That all the whole, you know, the Wayne parents died, but I knew what your father did, so it's just gonna be like, er. Um, <laughs> um, I didn't realize any circus was, um, he's playing Alfred. He's Alfred? Alfred. Is he? No. No. I'm sorry. No. No. For size, I didn't even realize he was in it, but he's playing Alfred. No. Look, 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 I love Andy. I do, I love it. I don't think I've hated any of the characters he's played. I say that knowing for a while I probably have. But he's very good at what he does, which is great. But, Alfred. He's playing Alfred. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but in my head, I don't picture Alfred as someone like Andy. Um, I picture Alfred as someone who's definitely got that life experience, who's definitely been through hell, who's definitely wiser and older. But then again, I know that in Gotham, Sean Pertwee played Alfred. Um, but again, you know, Sean was older than, I've completely blanked on the kid who played Bruce Wayne. <laughs> but like, we saw, that version of Sean, you know, that ver the version Sean played, not necessarily as a feeble old man, but definitely a man who's got life experience, who's definitely been through hell, and we could see that, but like, hmm, I feel like it doesn't, look, I'm gonna trust Andy Serkis, um, and the way he's playing him, but like, he's not playing Alfred, is he? Dude, I have to Google that, I'm sorry, give me... Feel free. He does too. That is... No. Look, I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> no. It's just, I feel like it's the wrong role, but like... <sighs> like, I, uh... Yeah. Like, I... Yeah. I got... Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> that's something. Um, I'm glad that they're not using the same characters, though. I'm glad that there's no Joker, hopefully. Um, I'm so over the Joker popping up. Like, we've done him to death. Give us someone new. Um, especially since we've had how many reiterations of Joker in the past four years? I say four years, but I feel like it's a bit longer. But, you know, how many versions of Joker wants to pop up? Um, great that Harley Quinn's coming out, but it doesn't look like she's in this one, which is cool. Um, I'm excited that Riddler's back out, Penguin gets to shine, Catwoman gets to come back out. So I'm really excited, but I'm also intrigued. Um, but yeah, no, I broke it down the best way that I could. <laughs> I may have screamed a lot, and it may have hurt your earbuds, and I do apologize deeply. Um, it's just one of those mornings. It's not even 10 a.m. yet. Oh no. Take it back! Yeah, don't ring me. I'm talking. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't hit me with the copyright. <laughs> um, so, while I go and continue ignoring that phone call, I'm going to go and say bye to y'all. And let me know what you think of the Batman movies. See ya.